Okay, welcome to the video. Six Hour Guy here. This is just going to be a quick video on how to remove your rear sight plate from the M17 Surplus um, Six Hour. So, first thing we're going to do is remove our magazine. I'm going to visually and physically check to make sure that we're clear, which we are. I'm going to rotate our takedown lever. Um, I'm going to point out a couple things here throughout the video. I had a friend that had a hard time turning his takedown lever last night. You could turn it to about that far and no matter what he did it wouldn't turn anymore um, I noticed his guide rod was pointing more of a downward angle than an upward angle so the guide rod actually um, contacts your takedown lever so if it's not orientated correctly you're not going to be able to turn your takedown lever um, so just kind of hold this up if it wants to keep coming down and then use your other hand to rotate your takedown lever and you should be able to rotate it all the way so you can see a little track that that pin rides in so you can tell when it's turned all the way Okay, so then we're going to release our slide, we'll set that aside, and then the first thing to removing this rear sight plate is we need to get access to the T15 screw that is up underneath screwed into it, and in order to do that we need to remove our striker assembly um, to gain access to that screw. To remove our rear sight plate, we have a little T15 screw here. Uh, T15 Torx. We're just going to put it in this screw and then what we're going to do is we're going to push in and rotate but then let off the pressure. Okay, you can see it let off the pressure. It's a little notch that that turns and clicks into. So when you push it in and you start turning it, it gets it out of that notch and now it needs to pop out on its own as you keep turning it. Okay, if you're holding it in it won't pop out and you're probably going to go 360 right back into that notch. So now that we have that sticking out like that, we're going to push that in, slide our back plate down, and take it right off. Okay, and we'll set that aside. You can take this out if you want. It's just holding your extractor in. So I'm actually going to do that in case it falls out on you. Um, we'll take that out. This is made up of three components, the spring and then these one piece on each end. So if that falls apart, it just presses back together. Um, I'm going to remove my guide rod and barrel. That way my extractor can fall out right there. So now that we have that back plate off, we can pull our striker out. It just slides right out. Nothing holding it in. Then you can see our little T15 screw there right in the bottom. So just get yourself a long enough torque bit, and we'll just start getting that screw out. Just a little guy. And then we can take our back plate right off. So be very careful, you got your loaded chamber indicator just resting in here, nothing holding it in except that back plate, and it's got a little itty bitty spring on there. So make sure you don't lose that in the spring. When you put it back together, you just puff that right in there. <clears throat> and then our back plate is actually what holds that in there for our sight plate. So then we're going to turn this and put our screw back in. You gotta crank this down because you don't want to damage the threads. Just snug it up. Then we'll put our extractor back in. This only goes in one way. This little hook part faces out. Go just like this. And then you'll see a little window here behind it. When you install this next part, you can see it capture that extractor. So this has a little leg on one side. You can see one side is a notch in it. So that little leg needs to be facing out so it can capture that extractor so the extractor can't fall out. So you can actually see when you put it in, if you're watching this little window, you can actually see it right there, capture it. 
So if you rotate it 180 degrees, you can see no matter what how I push it in, you can't see it in that window. Just rotate it until you can. And then there you go. Some people put this in, it will lock in and everything without it hooked. And then you go to fire the weapon and the extractor goes flying. Okay, so we got that in. We're going to put our striker back in. This is a good time to show you the little notch for the update. You can see how it's not PVD coated. That means it got done after the pistol was made. Regardless of, not, of whether it left SIG or not, um, this had been updated after the, the slide was completed. So we'll slide our striker in. You can see how it's spring loaded. So we're going to have to push that down a little bit so we can get our back plate started. And don't push it all the way in yet because you're going to have to push in on this and that'll click into place. And then you can let that go. So again, we're going to push this in and start rotating it and then let off. And you see how it's already staying in there by itself. So I'm going to keep rotating this until I hear it click. I'll do that again so you can hear it. I'm going to rotate it until it clicks. Just like that. And it locked it into place. Okay. So we're going to insert our barrel. Our guide rod. Take down levers in. And there you go. It's that easy. As always, Six Hour Guy, thank you for watching.